guys and welcome back. It has been a very long time since I have bought makeup, but whoops, I went to Ulta and I have not been excited to buy makeup in a very long time. This is my first purchase this year. Honestly, it's probably been like six months since I've bought any makeup at all. I went through a declutter, I had too much makeup and I've been using what I have and I haven't been inspired by any new launches. I haven't wanted anything. Um, but for some reason, this past week, I just stepped into an Ulta, found some new things that got me excited. So we're gonna try them on, play with some new makeup, some brands I haven't heard of that are at Ulta. So I haven't been in months. Um, yeah, so I am barefaced. I have put on my sunscreen. This is the sunscreen that I have been using, uh, clearly but this is Nurturium's Dew Glow Moisturizer, and I love this stuff. Also, I now have a Like to Know account, so I'm gonna be linking products um, in a Like to Know post, and I'll link the post so you can go and shop any of the products that I'm, well, if I can find it and link it. The products that um, I'm gonna be talking about in the video will be linked there. But um, this is the, what was I calling this? Sunscreen that I've been using, SPF 50 and moisturizer. So let's move that to the side and let's dig in. Let's see what I have and then we will start applying it to the face. I'm not sure what that was. I'm, I'm, out, I'm out of practice. Um, I have not, whew, I have not been filming makeup quite as much. If you're new around here, it's because I have um, a third channel that I've been working on and I'm ready to kind of balance out and kind of post evenly on them. So we're gonna be getting back into makeup and I'm excited. Um, and hair, for some reason my hair videos are the ones that are getting the most views. There's one that's like 67,000 views, which is mind boggling to me. It's, cr I, I can't, I can't believe that many people have seen my face. Like it's, it's a little strange to me. Anyways, let's, Look at this, <laughs> let's look at this. First of all, there's a brand in the drugstore side of Ulta, so there's high-end and the more affordable, called About Face. And I've heard about About Face, heard about About Face, <laughs> uh, because I've gotten something in a subscription box, but I don't know anything behind the brand um, who developed this brand or anything, but it's now at Ulta. So I grabbed several things. So a lot of this will be About Face, um, but then there was a brand over on the high-end side that I got and that had never heard of either. But this is the About Face, what are you called? Skin Infused Foundation. So this sounded like it would be a foundation that would be good for my skin and the packaging is gorgeous. Let's see how much this baby is because you know, drugstore prices are not cheap anymore. About Face. $22. So I remember every time I say I remember, you know, I think of back in my day because I'm starting to get older and now I'm like back in my day, the high end foundations were $22. When I started YouTube like eight years ago, this would have been considered a high end pricing. So let's see. Oh, okay. It twists. Oh, okay. I thought it was a pump. It is not a pump. It's a, whoops. It is a very big juicy doe foot. So there's the foundation. We will be trying this out. It looks like a giant concealer. It's a concealer for giants. Um, let's dig into the rest of the About Face first. I got Cheek Freak. This is the blush balm from About Face. And it is, I don't know if it's cheek and lips or just cheek, but look how cute. It is a cream, I believe. Um, yep, yeah, ultra creamy, lightweight, balm blush glides onto the skin for a soft wash of color with amazing lasting power. The refreshing buildable formula melts into liquid when applied, creating a diffused translucent finish. Superstar hydrators like hyaluronic acid and meadow foam sea oil serve up weightless, non-sticky, nourishment and protection. Well, that just sounds fantastic, doesn't it? I love, man, the people that come up with the descriptions of things. You can tell when it, they hired somebody good. That was, that was a good description of this. Hopefully it 
lives up to that description. But so uh, the color I got is Champagne Room, I think. And then I couldn't help myself. I bought three. I don't know why. I do know why, but I don't know why I bought three of these. I think these are 16 bucks a piece, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, these are $16. And uh oh, oh, the foundation flung. These are the fluid eye paints. I got two of the mattes. One of them is this color here. Fluid eye paints from About Face. This is Hidden Garden. And then I got this because I like mauve pinky, purpley tones. Um, and this one is Freaked. So I'll probably swatch these to decide which one I want to use. And then I got a Fractal Eye Paint. So Glitter Mousse Eyeshadow. And this one is in the shade Fracture. Interesting names. So you can tell the packaging on that one is shiny. So you can tell that one is a glitter one. So I'm excited to try those out. So I think that's all I got from About Face. We have a foundation, a blush, and eyeshadows. Let's move on. I have, I have lots of eyeshadow. I don't know why, like single eyeshadows. I haven't been into palettes anymore. Like in the past year, I've just been wanting like one and done or two simple cream eyeshadows, something easy, quick. So I got, I got one, two, three, four, five, six. So I can't use them all today, but we will swatch them all. This one is from Iphoria. Oh, no, this is called Iphoria from, this is the brand that I um, found in the high-end side, Raban, Raban, Raban. I don't know how you say it, um, but this is their cream to cream to paint metallic liquid eyeshadow, highly pigmented colors and ultra shine. This one is in lavender sky. Let's go ahead and talk about the other two eyeshadows that I got because why I don't know. These are Maybelline tattoo 24 hour eye sticks and I don't know if these are new, but I've never seen these before. Like these exact ones, they're probably not new, but they are new to me and they grabbed my attention. So I got them. I got the shade, what color are you? One is I am inspired. It looks like it's a champagne -y pink. And then I got like a lavender purple. Kind of goes with the lavender sky. I've got a purple theme going on. Um, this one is called I Am Fearless. Isn't that what this one said? Oh, I am inspired and I am fearless. So I'm going to swatch all those before we put them on. But the next products, uh, actually the rest of the products are lip products. For some reason, eyes and lips were um, on my mind. But, oh wait, this one's maybe a blush. That one's a blush. Um, I also got a nail polish because I am going for the weekend, away with my husband, we're celebrating our 15th wedding anniversary, and I got this beautiful, pretty red dress, and I needed some nail polish to go with it. Um, the blush that I got is the Camo, this is newish, Camo Liquid Blush from e.l.f., and I actually picked this up, up at Target because they were out of shades at Ulta, and this is Dusty Rose. The NYX Fat Oil Slick Click. I have been wanting to try this. This is one thing that has intrigued me seeing others' videos, um, but I just hadn't gone in any stores. But I got the clear one, and then I got a colored one in Going Viral. So we will try these out. I like the Fat Oil Lip Gloss from NYX, um, and I like these clicky pins with like glossy, shiny lips because my lips are always dry and flaking and the more shine and nourishment I can get, the better. Two more things. <laughs> this is Elf Glow Reviver Lip Oil. And it's red. I got it to go with my red dress. I'm gonna probably put on lip, red lip liner and then this. This is not very like whoop, pigmented. It's a light um, sheer gloss, but I thought it would be good to top the red lip liner. And the last thing, this is another shiny clicky pin, glossy lip, because that's all I want ever. Just give me all the gloss. And I've been wanting this since it came out. 
It's from Hourglass. I love Hourglass makeup. It is very expensive. Yes, this is $36. Why did I buy it? Because I really wanted it. I really, really did. And I love everything I've tried from Hourglass. I really love their products and their packaging. So this one, twist instead of clicks. You, you can't make it go back down like all the other ones, but it is. I like that it twists instead of clicks because the click can get annoying. So I got the color Desire. Okay, so that is all the products that I got. Let's go ahead and start putting them on the face because I've been talking for 12 minutes. So before I go in with foundation, I am gonna put on the Marshmallow Primer from NYX. I've honestly this, been using this every time I put my makeup on. It just creates a beautiful, smooth base and it hydrates my skin. And so I put this on under pretty much all of my makeup now. And honestly, I don't wear foundation all that often. I wear a little concealer under the eyes, blend it out, and that's all. But if I'm wearing foundation, I'm wearing this. I'll let that soak in just for a minute. And while I'm doing that, I'm gonna put on my brows really fast and we'll be right back. This is the Kosas Brow Pop. They have a little baby, baby version of this now. I don't know if it's the Brow Pop Precise or what they called it, but um, they have a small version now if you don't like um, the bigger tipped, what is this, brow pencils. <laughs> Time to put this foundation on and see what kind of coverage it has, see what the finish is like. I don't use a ton of product anymore, so I'm gonna start lightly with this. gonna put a little bit here and blend this out. I'll build it up if I need to. Seems to be a fairly light coverage, which I am fine with. A little bit more here. I have not heard anyone talk about this foundation. Um, I don't know how long it's been out. I don't know how long About Face has been in Ulta. Um, but it seems to be a fairly light coverage. It's looking a little bit dewy, which I, again, do not mind. Coverage meets skincare in this skin optimizing foundation formulated with powerful ingredients like blue agave, wintergreen, chlorel, chlorella, known to help hydrate and balance smooth skin, buildable, breathable, and medium coverage delivers a long wear, second skin finish. Okay. So it's supposed to be long wearing, medium buildable coverage, since my lips are so dry right now, I'm gonna put on the e.l.f. lip oil and see if this will help hydrate real quick. The uh, lip oil is very pink. I thought it'd be more red and it's like pink. All right, so for the foundation right now, it feels nice on the skin. It feels like um, a lotion. I don't see any like spots where it's sticking or anything. It is fairly light coverage. I did try to build it up on my cheeks. My cheeks are really flushed right now. Um, I have a heart condition and when I stand up my heart races and um, I had to stand up to dry my hair just a minute ago. So like my cheeks are still flushed, um, but we're about to flush them even more with blush. But so far I'm liking the way the foundation looks. Um, I want to put on just the tiniest bit, where are you? I'm gonna put on the tiniest bit of concealer um, under my eyes. This is the Kosas Revealer Concealer. Still my love, even after all this time. Can't seem to fall in love with anything else. So just blend that out. So now let's move on to the blush. I wanna try both of the blushes that I got, so we'll do one on each side, and I might look funny, but I'll try to even it out. So let's start with the About Face Cream Blush. I'm just gonna take my foundation brush. This is how I prefer to use cream blushes. Tap it to see if it's pigmented, and then 
I'm gonna go right on the cheek. I feel like I am glowy. Let's turn this down just a little bit. Okay, you can see that color. It's definitely pigmented. It's not one of those where you can just like tap, 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 tap. <laughs> I hope that made sense. Uh, definitely pigmented. I'm trying to slowly blend that out. It's very um, smooth feeling on the skin. Like that feels really smooth. It's just really, really pink. So now I'm gonna take the e.l.f. Camo Liquid Blush and what I'm gonna do, if I can open it, doesn't wanna open. Why are you not opening? Do I expect the products to talk back? Oh my goodness, open. Let's go get some tools. I need some pliers. Where's my husband? I can't get this thing open. I seriously need like some pliers and a vice grip. Come on. Man alive. Okay, so I can't get this open. So this will be for another video. I literally cannot get that open. So let me put this on this side too and we'll move on. Tried and true, a little bit of Laura Geller powder. I just put this under the eyes to kind of set and I'm gonna kind of clean up the blush a little bit. Cause there's quite a bit of pink here. Okay, not bad. All right, let's move on to the eyeshadow. I am going to swatch all of these first. So first we have the About Face Freaked. So let's see what, ooh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's pretty. The question is though, how does it look blended out? I like that. All right. Let's take the taupey color next. This looks gray. <laughs> kind of a green gray almost. So there's that one. Now what I'm most curious about is to see what the glittery fractal one looks like. All right. Yep, it's got like actual glitter. So there are those three. Let me swatch, what else did I have? The Maybelline Tattoo, color tattoo. <gasps> did you, did you, did you, did you, it just shot out. It just went flying. Stay in your home. Here is the more pinky toned one. It's got a nice shine to it, that's beautiful. All right, let's see what the purple looks like. Okay, I'm gonna gentle. Don't make this go flying everywhere. Ooh, that's pretty. Oh, that one's pretty. Oh, I like the Maybelline ones. I really don't like this color. I, I thought it was gonna be more of a taupey brownish. Um, and I guess, it. I don't know. It's just, it looks kind of green but not a pretty green. Okay. I think I'm gonna start with the lavender color uh, from About Face and see how this blends out. Right, so I'm gonna put a little bit on the lid and then I'm gonna take the brush and try to blend this out. I don't know if I'll need to layer this up or if it'll stay pretty pigmented. Kind of blend that into the crease. That's not bad. I don't know why I, I it sounded like I was expecting that to be awful. <laughs> um, it definitely sheared out, like uh, it didn't stay like fully opaque on the lid but um, it kind of needs to shear out so you can blend that edge, so. 
that's a beautiful light springy color Let's see if I can build it up at all if it'll let me layer it I think that's pretty I like that I don't know if this will like dry down and if I would like I'm gonna put something on top of this but I don't know if I have to like if this is gonna crease and get gross or if it would stay like this all day if it stayed like this that would be nice but I don't know um, it kind of feels like it's gonna move around and like sink into my lines but I don't know that okay so I like this yeah I feel like my lids feel sticky like they need to be set down with something so I want to try out the glittery one but I also want to try out the Maybelline so I'm gonna layer it might get messy we'll see but I want to try the lavender shimmer from Maybelline we're just gonna go right on top of that kind of Oops, I got that dark on there. Tap that out. Well, that's a beautiful color. Actually, I don't need the about face underneath this. I think that would be just really pretty by itself. Okay, so there's the Maybelline. Um, I kind of want to let that see if that dries down, and then I want to put a little bit of this on top to add some more sparkle to it. I'm gonna try something though. I'm gonna take this interesting shade here and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand. And I think I wanna take a small brush and run it along my lower lash line. I'm gonna take my Merit brush. I use this with the Merit's single shadows a lot, but I'm gonna take the little bitty tiny end and I'm just gonna take it in that cream that's on the back of my hand. Kinda of roll that around. And then we're going to go along that lower lash line. Because this might be a good use for this color. So it kind of looks gray up against that purple, and that's pretty. Yeah, I like that. That works. There we go. I found a use for it. <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take the About Face Fractal Eye Paint, and I'm going to put this on my hand tap my finger in the pigment and then I'm going to tap it on my lid and see what that does. This is going to cover up that purple some, but I just want to try out. This one is definitely more sparkly. Look at that glitter. Glitter. Oh, okay. So the about face ones, I prefer the glitter ones to the matte ones. Highly, highly prefer. Because also, it's like not moving from my hand either. So I think it will stay a lot better than the matte ones. So, definitely, I like that. If you if you like glitter, then I like that. It, it's definitely glittery. <laughs> I haven't worn something this glittery in a while, but don't mind it. I'm gonna take a little bit of eyeshadow just to kind of blend out that crease a little bit, pull this look together. I actually like the purple layered underneath that too because it's got it's getting a little bit of that purple shining through it and I really like the color that it made. Happy little accidents, I love it. Oh, this is gorgeous. Oh, that's beautiful. So we're coming to a close here. I need to put on some mascara and then we're gonna go over some lip products. I like the way the lip oil is feeling. This is nice, I like it. I would like to do a video talking about tubing mascaras. Um, I'm still in love with the Ulta Beauty Lash Flash. Um, and I've tried a few other tubing mascaras to try to find something that compares and is as good. And I think I'm gonna do a video on tubing mascaras and show you me washing them all off because for me that's the reason you get a tubing mascara is for the wash off the way it comes off your eyelashes and instead of me just explaining how each one comes off I think 
I'm going to sit down here and film me taking all of these mascaras off because I can't fully explain to you the difference that this mascara makes. I just can't. I haven't found anything that actually does what this does. And I'm not being dramatic. I'm being, I'm being dead serious. No other tubing mascara actually does this. So that is going to be coming. If you have a tubing mascara you want me to include in that video, please let me know in the comments because I will definitely pick it up. Um, I have a few right now, but if there's a specific one you want me to put in that comparison, let me know. I've got a little bit of mascara on my lid, but that's okay. I'm going to let it dry and then just like pick it off. Okay, lips. Let's talk about lips. We have the NYX, we have the e.l.f., which I already used, and then we have the Hourglass. Is that everything? I'm going to wipe this off. And um, we're going to start with the Hourglass because I'm most curious about that. And the reason I'm most curious about it is because I accidentally, and accidentally, I actually uh, tried the NYX Fat Lip. Fat oil stick click yesterday, so. Um, let's see what the hourglass feels like. Oh, I love it. I already love it. Yep, 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 yep. Mm. Look at that shine. Okay, this is a winner. It is $36 though. Um, this is very similar to the Tarte one. Oh, the battery's low. Woo! The color looks really, really pink on the camera. I don't know why, but my camera is showing up more pink than um, in real life. But mm, I like that a lot. It feels smooth and luxurious. I like it. I like it a lot. Okay, now I'm gonna take it off so I can put the other one on. Even though I don't want to. Mmm, I like that a lot. Like, my lips feel nourished after putting that on. Okay, and, and slightly minty. Um, this is the color going viral. So this one is, if you don't like the tart and like the hourglass that gets really goopy. This is a little bit more stiff. Uh, it's not quite as high shine and it's not quite as slippery. It's got a little bit of a tug to it. So I don't like this one as much. This one feels more lipstick like than the lip melting gloss like, but it looks fine. Like. I just look so pink on the camera. Um, but yeah, it's fine. I just, I prefer the hourglass to this one. So I put on a little bit of NYX lip liner in natural. And again, I'm hoping that it's just my computer monitor or something. It's not quite that pink, but I wanted to see if the clear was any glossier than the colored one. So let's give this a whirl and then I think that's everything I think I will definitely be using the clear quite a bit um, just because I can throw it on my lips but it looks like it's got glitter in it it's not just clear yeah it's got pink glitter in it interesting which I think is pretty um, let me trying to get the color off so you can see just I didn't realize that it had pink glitter in it but see if you can yeah see that pink huh I like that this is called main character so again it's not quite as goopy and glossy as um, some of the other clicky pins like that but um, if you like a stiffer formula again it's not it's still glossy but it's just not quite to that level of melty so, all right, so that is the full face. Um, I did not take off the mascara that's on my eyelids, so I'm gonna leave that. Um, but yeah, I, 
I had so much fun testing out makeup again. It's been so long. The foundation is looking great on my skin. Um, I'm gonna continue to test this out and I'll let you know. But I'm, I'm actually impressed by the foundation. I'm, I'm surprised. Um, I'm very picky with foundations. So, oh, I didn't test out the Ray-Ban. Ray-Ban, 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 Ray-Ban. Ray I'll have to look up how you say that. Um, I totally missed this one. So let's swatch it. Oh, that's pretty too. Let me know if you've heard of this brand, if you've tried this brand, but that looks beautiful. That I could see being a one, one and done eyeshadow. I like this one. Okay. For another time, but round up here. Uh, the matte about face ones, I'm not really sure that I like them that much. I, it, they're not really any quicker. I really, I don't know, I like a pot or a cream better than a liquid for some reason, except when it comes to the glitters. This one, I love. Um, and the combination of these two together, glorious. Absolutely beautiful. Like, look at this eyeshadow. Mm, I love it, I love it, I love it. Um, yeah, I'm in love with the Hourglass Lip Stuff. That's amazing. Uh, I can't get into the e.l.f. blush, so if you want to see this in another video, I'll go get some pliers, and we'll do that another time. But, yeah, I think that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and you want to see my future videos, hit that subscribe button down below, and I will see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Pretend that didn't happen. My hair. Which side do you go on? Oh no. I can't see because it's like reverse. It's fine, whatever. Ignore, ignore the part. Realize how unruly my brows are until I have all these lights on me.